Do you have both a MacBook and an iPad? There is an awesome way to use them together, and it's about to get even better with the new features Apple just announced at WWDC 21. Let's check them out. Hi, this is David of Techbobaba, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. In today's video, let's quickly go over my favorite new feature introduced in this week's WWDC and dive into a great feature called Sidecar already available today. If you appreciate Mac's robust operating system, its many productivity apps, and iPad's touchscreen and Apple Pencil like me, these features give us best of both worlds. While many of us are quite disappointed at features iPadOS 15 still won't have, one new feature caught my eyes, the universal control. It allows a single trackpad and keyboard to control both the Mac and iPad seamlessly. Once the pointer is moved from the Mac to the iPad sitting next to it, you can use gestures on the trackpad to control the iPad. Click to close, return to the home screen, or swipe between pages. Keyboard shortcuts like Command Space to bring up Spotlight also works. Most amazing of all, you can drag and drop files between these devices. We can now draw a picture with the Apple Pencil on the iPad, drag that picture and drop it onto a presentation on the Mac. Best of both worlds. It can even work across three devices, but that's just Apple showing off now. This new feature is coming later this year and isn't even available in the developer beta yet, so we'll have to wait a bit longer to try it out. While we wait for universal control, there's already a similar feature called Sidecar which turns an iPad into a secondary Mac display and much more. It also allows touchscreen gestures and Apple Pencils to be used as inputs to Mac apps display on the iPad screen. Best of both worlds, really. It's an easy and portable way to add an external screen to the Mac, perfect for traveling or working at a Starbucks. What's great is it's very easy to set up and use. As long as both devices are signed to the same Apple ID, it can be done wirelessly or wired to keep the iPad charged. It works on newer Macs and iPads running Catalina or later, and iPad OS 13 or later. Here I have my M1 MacBook Air running Big Sur and iPad Air running iPad OS 14. To start a sidecar session, click the display menu in Control Center here on the upper right on the Mac. Choose iPad Air from the menu. And that's it. Can't get much easier than that. By default, the iPad screen becomes an extension of the Mac desktop. Like any external display, a window could be moved over to it. Inside System Preferences, Displays, Arrangements, the iPad Air display could be arranged to be on the right, left, or anywhere around the Mac. You can also check this box to turn iPad into a mirror display showing the same content as the Mac. There's a sidebar with commonly used controls like Command, Shift, undo on the left side of the iPad screen. This last one on the bottom terminates the sidecar session. Now I prefer these physical function keys Apple put back on the MacBook Air instead of the touch bar. But for those who miss the touch bar, it could show up on the bottom of the iPad screen. Here's the one Word has for example. Again, best of both worlds. Under Apple menu, system preferences, sidecar preferences, both the sidebar and the touch bar can be turned on or off. When they're on, the sidebar can be positioned either on the left or the right of the screen. The touch bar can be on the top or the bottom of the screen. By the way, Sidecar works just like an app on the iPad, so it doesn't lock up the iPad when it's on. I can easily switch over to other iPad apps whenever I need to. The Sidecar app will suspend and then resume when I switch back to it. Very convenient. In addition to the external display we get with Sidecar, what's really cool is touchscreen gestures now work on Mac apps display on the iPad. I can pinch to zoom in and out, scroll with two fingers, quite amazing. Again, this is an app running on the Mac being controlled with the touchscreen gestures on the iPad. No other external display could do this. And there's more. If you have an Apple Pencil, it could be used to interact with the Mac app. I can click and drag with the Apple Pencil to select the text, for example, click on the highlighter and highlight the selected text in yellow, just like that. The pencil can also be used to make photo adjustments
and add markups. I'm an app running on the Mac and display on the iPad. It's like magic. No wires connecting the two here in this case. Not much lag at all. Finally, I get to have a touch screen and use Apple Pencil on my Mac. It's the best of both worlds. I get the fully featured Mac OS, all the pro apps, an iPad touch screen and Apple Pencil all working seamlessly together. If you have a Mac and an iPad, give Sidecar a try now. It's really the best of both worlds and it's about to get even better with universal control that Apple just announced at this year's WWDC. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please help me by clicking the like button and sharing it with your friends. If you've already tried Sidecar, I'd love to know what you like or dislike about it in the comments section below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cherish each moment.